Happy Monday. Peace and love and prayers go out to those babies over there in carbonation that have been over there for like three weeks now in this cold. Um, I am urging everyone to continue with the same energy. I'm doing a quick, quick video just to drop my Instagram link because I want to go live anytime that I even feel the need to think about, hey, let me shoot this out to my melanated community and let them um, stand up for the kids that are in the community that are suffering. Um, as I continue to state, this is not only um, specifically for this situation. You may have a situation that you know about that's going on in your community. If you want to stand up for your community, that's what I'm sending um, information out to my melanated community for. Um, one other thing I want to address real quickly too. Um, at the start of this journey, um, as far as I guess it's been like three weeks now that I started this journey as far as these babies that I saw myself online um, take into a sex call. So at the start of this journey, I always said that, hey, I'm going to be putting clips out. The clips are for people who want to um, actually involve themselves in being a part of the melanated concerned citizens. And you want to actually um, reach out, you want to send information over to the proper authorities, you want to email these links and so forth. This is the reason why I'm posting the links that you have just seen over the past couple of days or maybe the past day or so. Um, the links are not there to um, entertain you. These links are there specifically per the babies. If you look at any of the information that I have said um, before now, before this video, I've always said I'm going to be posting links. Um, there are also other links. There's videos. There's documentations that we need to be getting over to the authorities. So even though some of the videos that clips that I have posted are old, it's okay because we're not going to literally be seeing. Um, he's not going to um, put himself on blast now. Okay, those videos, yeah, they made some of them maybe a couple of months old. Maybe some of them maybe a couple of years old. But all of this. Um, when I post it, it's pertaining to the babies, okay? Meaning that anything that you've seen me post, you've seen this dude like hollering, antagonizing this woman, and she generally has the baby in her hand, okay? So what I do is for the babies of carbonation, okay? I have a heart for it. I'm sending out my love. I'm sending out my prayers to those babies, and I'm not losing my energy for the babies of carbonation. They're still over there, okay? Um, I also posted a video of um, Mr. Marquez. I posted that video because I want to put out that um, energy and put that awareness out there that there are parents that actually do care about their kids that's over there. They're grown adult kids, okay? Um, this dude is basically um, incriminating himself online to pops. Um, so I feel like that the more families reach out, the more that they will understand that, hey, this is something serious that's going down and this whole situation needs to be shut down, all right? So this is the reason why I'm putting those videos out there. These videos are not for entertainment. These are serious. Um, the videos that I have posted to me, those type of things hurt my heart. I don't know about the next person, and I feel like anybody that is taken up for the situations up there, laughing at it or whatever, I feel like you probably should go to a... a platform that actually supports the way that you feel because on this platform this is what i stand for i stand for the babies um i'm standing up for my melanated community also i know that a lot of people in our community don't believe in getting canceling um having therapists and so forth so you may not understand the brainwashing you may not understand mental illness you may not understand it just because these people are grown over there or they're early adults does not mean that they have it all. You do not understand what they have um, been through as far as what this dude is doing to their mind. So basically, the videos that I also will post up will be the manipulation. This dude manipulating, okay? Um, just basically proving that he is a brainwash of this community, of our black melanated community, and it does need to be shut down. With that being said, I heard someone saying that everybody says that with that being said, but I guess it just falls in the line. I'm going to go ahead and spear out these numbers again. Um, I'm going to also be leaving my link for Instagram. I'm going to put that there as well. Um, also, if you look at my um, banner on my um, the background of my YouTube, you will also see the, um, what is it? 
the icon for the Instagram. You can click on that and you'll be able to follow my page. I did um, put the, a page together specifically for melanated awareness for our community, okay? This is not just for this situation. This is most definitely, if you know someone that is um, doing a kid dirty, um, there's, they're in a situation that's manipulative and it's, it's bad for them, um, you need to speak up, okay? I've had people to hit me up and ask me, well, what do you think I should do? Should I do this? Should I do that? My thing is, are you looking out for this adult that is doing the abusing or are you looking for the child, out for this child? For this baby for this black child that is not able to speak out for themselves so when you're asking these questions should i speak out what should i say um should i what about if the the, the caucasians get them or whatever are you worried about your black babies or are you worried about the abuser okay the black babies can't speak up for themselves all right the abuser is the one that is potentially going to damage this child for years to come, all right? We see that. There is an example of that in our community online right now that is Legio Bishop, all right? I'm going to go ahead and put up these numbers. Like I said, I'm going to be doing lives throughout the day, but you guys can only be able to catch me on Instagram because I don't have enough followers up here. I have to have like a thousand followers before I'm able to go live from my phone. Okay, I would like to continue the energy throughout the day so that you guys will understand it's not a game. We need to stand down. We need to stand up. We need to be consistent with this fight, with this movement of standing up for our black community, standing up for our black babies. All right. Um, 185, I'm sorry, I'm going to call the Mexican authorities the welfare number out. That number is 011525550080. That's the Mexican authorities. Um, that's for child welfare, okay? Uh, 1-800-I-AM-LOST-426-5678. That's 1-800-426-5678. Child Find America, 1-800-292-9688. The child abuse hotline is 1-800-422-4453. The mental illness number is 1-800-950-6264. The, the hours of operation are 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Disease control, 1-800-233-4636. Freedomofmind.com. They also have a YouTube. You can go to this website and you can go to their YouTube freedomofmind.com. I've also compiled two other numbers for them. 1-617-396-4638 and 617-628-8153. This is for my families that want to reach out to their families and their friends or their, you know, just people in the community, in the black community, you want to reach out and to these babies, you need to get them up out of this cult and you need to find out a way you don't know what to do. Call that um, the freedom of mind. Dot com okay call that call the numbers that I have everything that I have here will be listed in the description you're gonna start from the top all the way to the bottom keep scrolling if you're interested in being that melanated concerned citizen being that melanated family member that you are standing up for your family be that okay those numbers are there council for children's rights I have a um, website for that it's cfcrights.org all right this is you can actually have a pro bono lawyer stand up for your kids this is something that i want to work up for us in our community because sometimes we don't we don't read as a black some of us some of us don't read as a black community so therefore we don't know the resources that we actually can have right there at the tip of our fingers we don't reach out and find those things so um with those resources right there at cfc.com um, cfcrights.org you actually can be able to get you a lawyer and i would also like to dig more into resources to find out what different um you know different people in our community can do as far as reaching out for different resources because sometimes you may call a number and they like oh we don't have that well i want it to be something for our young ones that need some type of protection legally okay the young ones don't have a voice they need someone that's going to be able to speak for them. I may not be able to be that one, but you could actually have the resources to speak out for a child, okay? If you need to. 
um this also is a number like i said all the numbers are totally here for any situation that you know of in your melanated community i put this information out there because it's time for it to start standing up and stop turning our backs on our young babies our young community our black melanated community it's time for us to just stop okay um, so 1-800-551-1300. This is a nationwide safe place for teens, all right? Sometimes teenagers are in situations and they, instead of them being able to have to get online and be sucked into some type of poison like the Elysio Bishop person, you want them to be able to have a number that they can actually call out to. Um, this is a safe place for teens, okay? It's 1-800-551-1300. But people, if you are consistently being there for your melodated families and starting back, like not, not a year ago, not 10 years ago, generations ago, we didn't start back then, so we have to start now. So what I want us to do is start being there. Then our teenagers and the young adults won't have to go out and seek outside resources because there something is going on with their mind they're not um thinking they're you know they're, they may be mentally challenged and we may not have know it because of the fact that we are a black community that it's always been a taboo in our community to talk to counselors to talk to um therapists and so forth so I want us to start seeking these resources out. 1-800-551-1300, okay? If you're a teenager and you need to seek some resources out because you don't have that type of foundation at home, reach out, okay? Reach out to these resources. Internet Crimes Against Children, against children 1-800, I'm sorry, 1-877-474-5437. Missing Persons, 1-800-843-5678. 1-855-463-6395. Human trafficking, 1-888-373-7888. Also, www.justice.gov forward slash action. And if you want to contact me, you can contact me at philsdeon36 at gmail.com. And then my Instagram again, I said that's going to be um, on that icon. And I'm going to also post it in the post as well. I'm mean, in the description as well. If you would like to follow me on Instagram under Melanated Awareness. All right. I'll be able to do lives that way. Anytime I'm ready to spirit these, this energy, uh, this, this need to help these babies over there. Anytime I need to spirit it off, I'll be able to do that because I can't do that during the day now because I can't. I don't have my phone to be able to do lives, okay? But now I do because of Instagram. So you guys follow me on Instagram as well. It's Melanated Awareness. I will share the link, and the link is also in on my banner. Um, okay, also F-E-V-I-M-T-R-A at pgr.gob.mx. That's the prosecutor's office for crimes against women and children. You're going to need the following. You're going to need to scan your ID to verify who you are, a description of what type of abuse you wish to report, who are the perpetrators, who are the victims, where did this occur, what is your relationship to this situation. You are a concerned, melanated citizen, okay? Don't forget that, people. We need to let them know that we're concerned, we melanated, and we're concerned about our black community. we concerned about our black babies. And it's been three weeks, y'all. Uh, it's been three weeks, okay? Um, you're going to also need the support and documents and videos. This is the reason why I've been posting clips on my page, okay? This is the reason. It's not because I'm trying to post drama and so forth. But I'm posting how this can affect our babies over there in carbonation, okay? The situations that are going on, that have went on, this is the way that this dude is, Okay, point blank. This is how he is. Um, I also have a host of other um, websites in the links as well. Um, in the description, you'll see that as well. I am lost, 1-800-426-5437. Child Find America, 1-800-292-9688. The Child Abuse Hotline, again, is 1-800-422-4453. Um, what I do know is when you do start these child care, um, when you do call the, the hotline for the kids, the abuse line, what you want to do is make sure that you keep a 
date. You want to keep accounts of every time that you call. Do not let the case get closed up continuously. Make sure that even if you're calling once or twice a month, make sure that you're taking down the dates. You're keeping account of what you are reporting. Um, and then make sure that you're going to be able to get an office number so that you'll be able to call this office and find out what's going on exactly with the case that you have started. Okay. Damon King, his number is 202-514-5780. That's the deputy of CEOs for International Connections with Foreign Police. Um, child Exploitation and Obscenity Section. The number is 202-353-7304. The Disease Control Hotline again is 1-800-232-4636. Remember, these kids are over there with people that have disease. Remember that these people said that they treat the kids like adults, all right? Remember that. Remember that these babies have been over here for three weeks, too long. Remember families that are out there, please don't be afraid. You have one parent that I do know that's standing up and speaking out, and no matter how everyone's saying anything, the spotlight is on that situation. No matter how he's doing it, he has opened the spotlight up to let us know, hey, there is a cult out there that is taking advantage of young adults, okay? They may, may be young, mentally challenged adults. He's letting it be known. Not only is he caring about his daughter and his granddaughter, this guy is putting it out there for this whole cult that needs to be shut down. Meaning he cares not only for his daughter and his granddaughter, but he's caring about the whole situation, okay? The whole situation is an effect on the black community. The black community is literally looking at this online. We're literally having people that are supporting these other people that are are black. And um, I'm not saying everyone's black that is supporting this, but for my black community, which that's who I'm going to speak on because I am a part of, these are the things that are in our community that are poison, the people that are supporting this, the people that are sending money to this type of whatever he's got going on, this sick cult that he has over there with kids. As I've said time and time again, adults will do what they wish, okay? Adults will do what they will. But when it comes down to the kids, you don't play around with that. You don't psychologically mess up kids because they will end up like the Elysios. That's what we will have a bunch of Belizeo bishops running around here poisoning our black community. This is not to be accepted. It's very shameful and it's very embarrassing. And it's really, really embarrassing when we got people online that's taken up for it. And so to the people that do come on my platform and have a way of telling me how I should run my platform, what you should do is most definitely set you up a platform and proclaim your how how um proud and what you what type of promotions that you do for sick type of behavior because it's a sick behavior it is an illness so if that's the way you feel go and join the platforms that that feel the way that you do or either promote your own platform Okay, because it's not going to happen on this platform. I'm going to feel the exact same way that I feel. I'm a very, very literal person. Literally, there are kids that are over there in this sex cult. There are people, there are kids over there that have gotten taken away from um, USA and over there in Mexico. And they still have a parent over here in these states, okay, that want their kids, okay? People do care about their kids. So we have to keep that in mind when we're online, um, you know, bashing people who are trying to stand up for the black community. You should be ashamed of yourself. And the ones that are not standing up, please just stand up. The family members that um, are afraid to speak out or whatever, please don't be afraid. Please speak out because the more family members and friends of these family members that we have speaking out, the more awareness that we will spread and the more that they will understand, hey, this is kind. Of, this is not kind of, but this is very important to this community, this melanated community. They do care. All right, I posted plenty of clips. Um, I actually even created a playlist, so you can go to my um, my um, melanated awareness playlist. Um, you're gonna see all the clips there. As far as if you need any clips that you need to send out to any emails, or if you need to um. You know, just review them because a lot of things people don't even know that has went on in this call. Okay, 
So um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Melanated Awareness. Um, there are plenty of clips there. Um, there are pictures there. I'm still, I've still been working on that page for the, like, probably like the last couple of days. So I've been building it up just so that I'll be able to have information already on that page. And then you all, you all will be able to follow me when I am able to do lives, which I'll do the lives more now. But just follow me on that on page. I will post the link as well. And it's in the icon on my banner. Do me a favor. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you have not already subscribed. And also pray for those babies over there in carbonation. Keep your chin up, people. Okay? We, we have to get it back together. We black people, we have to do better. I love you, my black people.